you were that you were there for the three expulsion votes. How do you make sense of what happened yesterday? Thank you for having me, Jonathan. Uh, you know, what we saw on yesterday was Tennessee Racism Confirmation Day. That's what we saw. And our skin color offends them so much that they had to take out two young black men, Representative Justin Pearson, Representative Justin Jones, and those are my brothers, and I'm going to stand by them. Uh, they are ch they're, they're tired of us challenging them, simply, simply put. Uh, we're losing what we see as our democracy right before our eyes. And our Tennessee House Republicans literally just showed their hand. Uh, you had legislators who were unsure attorneys serving as not only the witness, the prosecutor, uh, the jury, and the judge of two black men on yesterday. And our voices are going to get heard regardless out of all of this. Well, a couple of people who have, who have heard you are President Biden and former President Obama. They showed their support. But what did it mean? to have the vice president of the United States actually come and be with you today. What I saw um, with Madam Vice President Harris in Nashville with us on today was the ability for us to say that we are unified. That's what we are. We are one unit, whether it's the state, whether it's the federal level, we're one unified body of people. To be able to see another black woman come and stand with black people, black men, in our community to know that there's someone else fighting just as hard for us. Uh, the world is watching Tennessee right now. It's, a, it's something that everyone keeps on saying, and it's really, really true. And uh, you can be assured that we're gonna continue to fight with our, our partners in the federal level for the justice that we need here in the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You know, Phil Williams, local Nashville reporter, tweeted, quote, privately, some Republicans expressed concern to me that these events are not only alienating independents, but also GOP women who don't want their kids getting killed at school. GOP women who don't want their kids getting killed at school. That's not optics. That's policy. Is this a sea change moment? It really is. And so what we're going to see is next year's election time is going to show a real change um, because this is not going to stop just today. This is going to be another year and a half of us really working really hard to make sure that people who are in the suburban areas, suburban women are seeing that our parties are not working together for a reason because race plays a part, because gun violence is playing a part. I, I, I want to mention that there was a, a turning point on yesterday. Uh, I think for a lot of people, uh, when they were watching us live on television uh, from their homes, when Representative, Representative Pearson was being minimized to a boy who you would have thought was a slave by the sponsor of his expulsion, and all, all of a sudden, he pauses and for a moment had to ask the body, is that a way you would like to be talked to? And people are watching that, no matter what, what color you are, what race, what background you are, but the way we were spoken to, the way they were spoken to, is being seen by everybody. And so representation really matters, and everybody's wanting to see a change in that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want to bring in two students who helped organize these protests. Bryn Jones and Esri Tyler are March for Our Lives organizers from Vanderbilt University. Uh, you've both been organizing and protesting at the State House since Monday. Esri, who are these protesters, and, and what drives you to be there? Yeah, absolutely. These protesters is a broad coalition of students across every single level of education. We have students as young as six years old coming out. We have middle schoolers, high schoolers, and we also have university students from across not only the city of Nashville, but also across the states. We had busloads of students coming from Memphis, from Knoxville to support their representatives. And besides the students, we have a coalition of parents and elected officials at every level from school boards all the way to our state reps that we're standing behind now. And, and Bren, you wrote in the Tennessean, quote, I have a message for the members of the Tennessee legislature. Shame on you. Shame on you for spending time and taxpayer money on banning books and drag, trying to rename streets in Nashville and reducing the size of city councils. Are these really the issues that are affecting Tennesseans the most while kids are dying in our schools? Bryn, has any Republican member sat down with you to discuss this issue? 
Um, no, they haven't. Um, I'm from Nashville, actually. I've lived here for almost all of my life, and I have six generations of Tennesseans in my family, and not a single one has reached out to any of us to talk mm. about what it is that we really want behind these issues, which it's not anything radical. It's common sense gun control. We want to stop people from dying in our cities. We want safer communities. Mm -hmm. You know, Representative Harris, what effect has it had to have people raising their their voices in the state house? I mean, it has been a very powerful moment. I don't know uh, if you have been seeing all of the movement ever since the first um, um, protests here at the Capitol. It, it was a magical experience to be a part of all of that, to start with them on the outside and come here and be on the inside now. It, it, it's a life-changing experience to watch. Uh, there were thousands and thousands of people here, uh, and it was done in such uh, unification to the point where people were standing out in the rain. Uh, people were packed on the inside of the building. Uh, it was so organized. You know, people were actually getting seen. Uh, and th their voices were being heard. Their representatives mm -hmm. had to see them, walk past them, and actually had to speak and hear them calling out for gun control, um, calling out for the things that really matter to people, not this pettiness that's going on right now where we are acting like little kids. I, I, I was, a few months ago, was the youngest elected official here, and we brought in two more uh, young elected officials who are now expelled, um, and... Unfortunately, it's it's sad to have to watch. I think this is going to be a turning point. People aren't going mm -hmm. to take their eyes off of what's going on here in Tennessee. And I expect people to be out here protesting again on Monday, Thursday, and every single week moving forward until some change happens here.